Hi everyone, welcome to DevOps Info channel. It's been quite a long time. Uh, I, was, I wasn't I was able to post uh, some videos uh, because uh, I got a little bit busy for the past uh, three weeks. So today uh, I thought it's a good idea to talk a little bit about uh, Azure Boots, familiarizing yourself on how to effectively utilize them for managing your projects through the Microsoft Teams. Uh, as we all know, uh, Azure Boots helps us to plan, track, and discuss follow-up on your tasks that is across your team. Um, it might be useful for tracking your work logs if your team is suited to the Agile methodology. Uh, Azure Boots can be a great choice for assigning and tracking the tasks. We could easily build our own board, backlog, run a daily sprint, and keep track of our important works. Uh, you can use the Azure Boots with the Service Hook subscription for multiple enhancements, like integrating them with uh, uh, Trello uh, or uh, connecting GitHub repository uh, to the Azure Boots. Uh, if you are new to the Azure Boots, uh, I would uh, highly recommend to take a look at uh, the video which we uh, posted eight months back. Uh, it's a 30 minute video, uh, which gives you uh, some detailed explanation about uh, what is Azure Boots, how effectively you can utilize them for managing your uh, projects. Uh, it would be really helpful uh, and it could give you some information uh, to uh, know what is Azure Boots and how to get started with them. So with the Azure Boots, you can create the work items, track their progress uh, in your Azure Boots for your teams uh, from the Teams channel. Uh, if you are utilizing Microsoft Teams, as we know uh, for the past uh, couple of years, uh, most of the organizations started heavily utilizing Microsoft Teams as their communication platform. And also they started utilizing uh, the Azure boards for uh, managing their projects. So by including the Azure boards uh, into uh, your Microsoft Teams, uh, it will really help you to uh, keep a track and then effectively utilize uh, the Azure boards for all the incoming tasks that is coming into your team. Uh, so in this video today, take a, let's take a look at how to uh, get started with that. Uh, First thing is there are some prerequisites which you need to meet. Uh, it is the same prerequisite that you need to have uh, for, uh, let's say, how to access the Azure boards uh, from, uh, from, the, from the website. So the, the same thing is like to create a work item, you must be a contributor to the Azure boards project. So if you don't have this project, then uh, you, know, uh, you, you won't be simply not be able to create it from the Microsoft Teams channel. So basically what you can do is like, let's say if your team uh, is having a Microsoft, uh, uh, you know, uh, team, uh, and then they're having a channel. They do the frequent communication, uh, like uh, about the ongoing issues. Uh, you can, let's say, you can create uh, an Azure uh, work item uh, directly from that. So we'll take a look at that in the upcoming uh, a few minutes. So the first prerequisite is like you, you must be a contributor to the Azure Boards project, uh, and then to create a subscription in a Teams channel. For work item events, you must be a member of the Azure Boards uh, project administrator group or teams administrator group. It is the same thing what you do or what permission you need to have uh, for managing your work items or creating anything on the Azure uh, on the Azure Boards. Um, and the last important thing is to receive notification on the Microsoft Teams channel. Um, you must enable the third party application access via the OAuth setting for your organization. So like if you go into your Azure, Dev, uh, Azure uh, uh, DevOps setting, then you have uh, the, the organization settings. And then in the organization settings, there is something called policies. In the policies, you need to make sure that uh, the application connection policy is the first one, third party application access via OAuth is enabled. So only then uh, all the, uh, the, the, the notifications uh, will be uh, sent to the Microsoft uh, Teams uh, uh, channel that you're going to configure. To get started with using Azure Boots, all we need to do is just add them as an app uh, from the list of the apps that are available in your Microsoft Teams. So in my case, I have just uh, going to the Microsoft Teams uh, and then I just go to the three dots uh, and then I'm going to search for Azure Boards. In my case, I have already added this. If you take a look at this, like it, it is just uh, you know a kind of a bot uh, which is uh, going to uh, you know uh, communicate. Uh, 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 like uh, uh, like communicate as a webhook service, and then it is going to uh, you know create all the uh, events uh, uh, in the all, all the uh, you know all the work items that you're going to uh, 
uh, request from the chat. So like for, for example, when you click on add, it is just going to bring a new screen and then uh, it says, uh, okay, it will ask you to add, but in my case, I have already added. So uh, it's asking me open. So, but let's say if I want to add it to a new team, then there is an option called add to a team. So in this add to a team, it just give you a drop down where you wanted to uh, create. So for example, in here, I'm just going to, uh, I'm just going to add it to one of the group, which is Microsoft 365 production. And then I'm clicking set up a bot. So this is just a kind of a bot, which is setting up a communication uh, channel from the Azure boards towards your uh, Microsoft Teams channel. So here at uh, the moment when you, uh, Create it, then it says, okay, uh, this is the place where you see the uh, uh, it has been created, and then you see, hi, let's get started with Azure Boots. So the next step is uh, post, uh, you get the Azure Boots, you have to sign in. So the sign in is very simple, you are just going to uh, do the uh, Azure Boots calling, and then you're going to put sign in. So in my case, I've just mentioned Azure Boot sign in. Uh, I have already signed in over here, so that's the reason it says you are already signed in, uh, and then uh, it's it saying it, it is saying from which uh, ID I have been signed in. So, and post this like what you need to do is like uh, there are some examples which I can show you. Uh, like uh, there is one more thing which you need to do is like uh, in order to receive notifications uh, from any kind of actions that you are doing it on your uh, uh, Azure both uh, you need to be. Uh, received on the Microsoft Teams. For that, you need to do is just click on three dots at the right top, and then you have something called uh, connectors. In the connectors, uh, you need to uh, go into the Azure uh, DevOps. I will show you in few seconds. Yeah, in the Azure DevOps, like all you need to do is just go to the configure. In the configure. Uh, there are a few options which you can do is like uh, choose the Azure DevOps account uh, uh, and then uh, choose the organization in our case it's uh, uh, one organization and then I have the change advisory board which is the project which I have created and then team um, again change advisory board team uh, that's the DevOps team and then select the type of the event that you need to receive the notifications for like for example um, these are the notifications I can uh, do to receive, uh, uh, you know, like the notifications on this particular Teams channel. Uh, you see, like, uh, even if your deployment team is doing uh, some kind of, uh, uh, in a build, uh, if a code is pushed, uh, if a pull request is created, a uh, pull request is updated, uh, all these informations uh, for any changes, then you'll be notified in this uh, uh, Teams channel, uh, which is really great, right? Because uh, if your team is managing all your projects, uh, uh, through the pipeline um, and uh, you know like if any kind of uh, merge commit or anything is happening then you would be very well notified over here so uh, le like let's say for azure boards you have options like work item commented work item created work item deleted restore or updated like for example i'm just going to do uh, like uh, work item deleted uh, and then here uh, there is a, a area path where you need to select change advisory board in our case and then work item type, uh, yeah, it's anything. It's, uh, in my case, I'm just selecting it for all work item types. Let it be epic issue or task. And then I'm clicking on save. Okay, so here it is updated. So the moment when I updated, uh, in, in our example, I've just created two, uh, which is uh, notify if any work item is deleted, the first one, and the second one is notify if any work item is commented. So the moment when you do, you also get a notified on your team that uh, like uh, Satish has updated a connection to the Azure DevOps uh, will be notified uh, when the following items, uh, following event occurs, which is the work item deleted. In order to show you a demo, so I'm just going back to the, the boards and in the boards, what I'm doing is just going to delete one of the, uh, one of the epics. So here I just come to test and then I'm going to delete. So let's see what's happening. I deleted this work item. And the moment when I delete this work item, uh, let's come back to Microsoft uh, uh, Teams channel. Yes, I'm being notified. So it says uh, deleted by Satish uh, Virapandian, uh, and then it says Epic 3 test. I have deleted the Epic, uh, which is test, and then it, it is notified. So everyone in the team is notified. In the same case, uh, let's say uh, I'm going to give some uh, update on, uh, uh, let's say, on the network issue. I'm going to this network issue and then I'm going to uh, ask my colleague. Uh, uh, 
I'm just putting the update. Thanks for the help. You can close this task. I'm just clicking on save. That's all. So the moment when I click on save, I'm just updating it on the portal. So when I'm coming back, you would see uh, that would be coming. See, Epic has been updated. Uh, and just what is the discussion has been updated. It's like, uh, say, Sri Ram, thanks for the help. We can close this task. Yeah, which is really good, right? Because uh, let's say if my colleague uh, is not open the, um, uh, the 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 DevOps, uh, so the, the Azure boots on his uh, uh, site. Uh, however, he's in the Microsoft Teams. He's into that particular uh, channel. Uh, he would be notified on the mobile. Also, he'll be notified uh, on on the desktop. So, which is really good. So he will be notified. Okay, uh, this task has been completed. And then I can simply uh, go and close this, uh, which is really great. Uh, and also, there is one more uh, example which I can say. Like for example, I'm just going and typing. Uh, there is an issue with issues. There's an issue with uh, um, uh, yeah network performance. Let's see. Ah, there is an issue with storage. Let's let's take an example. I issue with storage connectivity. From uh, okay, some application. Just I'm just putting an example. There is issue with storage connectivity from uh, from Office one. Just an example. When I click on Enter, this is an this is a message which I have posted in the Teams channel. Let's say if my friend is not if uh, friend is seeing this uh, or any one of my colleagues are seeing this, they, all they can do is uh, like they can just go through the three dots and then here they have more actions and here you have an option to create a work item. Um, just a second, three dots and then you have an option to create a work item. So the moment when you click on create a work item, I can just choose it's a task or epic whatever it is click on next and then uh, it is going to give me uh, ask me uh, analyze the issue with storage connectivity okay oops i'm sorry okay now i have the correct uh, spelling for that so if you see uh, this is the area path where it is going to land and then it is asking me the description uh, which which picks the, the default one that I have commented and then when I click on create it's it has successfully created the Azure boots uh, uh, so when I go back uh, it, it give me a message like the task 10 has been created so when I go to the Azure boots I'm going to click on the work items You see here, it's great. Analyze the issue with the storage. Uh, analyze the issue with the storage connectivity. Okay, let's see. It should take. Yeah, it created already. Analyze the issue with storage connectivity. It's unass uh, it's unassigned. So uh, any one of uh, the project manager is taking a look at it. Uh, they can uh, assign to the person who is available, which is really good, right? So like, uh, uh, like based on a, a chat conversation uh, notified by one of the colleague in your team uh, who has. Uh, uh, seeing that is some issue, uh, we can just simply uh, create the task uh, directly uh, from that towards your uh, uh, towards your project uh, in 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 the Azure boards, which is uh, which is really uh, easy. Uh, so uh, apart from that, there are a few other things uh, which uh, which would be really helping. Um, like uh, like for example, uh, yeah, if you want to know more about uh, what I can do uh, do on the uh, Azure Boards in Microsoft Teams, you can just simply put it uh, Azure Boards uh, and help. It is going to give you, uh, it's, it is going to give you some uh, some additional things. What all you can do from here? Uh, or it's a kind of a board which is created and it is uh, you know uh, uh, establishing a, a channel from your Teams uh, towards uh, the Azure Boards, and then it it gives you it, it can do all these things. Uh, if you want to know then uh, know more about it, then you can always uh, take a look at the documentation. So overall, I would say, uh, you know, uh, this gives us an easier option uh, for how to schedule our tasks for a day, week. And then, you know, with Microsoft Teams, it is really giving us a better option to uh, track all your projects. 
and then uh, you know uh, whatever what are the scenarios uh, whatever we describe now it's happening in 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 the real uh, uh, scenarios like people are communicating the teams channel and then uh, the 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 issues have been discussed and let's say if they wanted to be uh, updated in your uh, uh, in in your project then uh, in in your board then simply create a work item from the chat itself and also if anything uh, you know uh, any one of your colleague is updating uh, your uh, work item then everyone is updated in the teams channel which is really good uh, because uh, as a team everyone is uh, working on a particular uh, project so which uh, will help like if let's say if anyone is not available then uh, any one of your friend would be able to uh, pick up the task so overall i say microsoft teams is really helping for the collaboration and with a uh, kind of an additional tools uh, it is really making a very great and impactful application for uh, uh, for managing our daily uh, tasks and operations.